Shasta uh, this time around. Uh, obviously Corey Good is here, Laura Eisenhower, the Secret Space Program Conference, and um, uh, we met uh, in a group called Stillness in the Storm on right. Facebook, and there's a lot of people from that group that came to the conference, so I think we, uh, we all share uh, the, the, the fact that we were drawn to this uh, right. through you know, David Wilcock, Corey Good. Um, these insiders revealing this whole other world of information and knowledge that many of us intuitively knew and had some sort of like feeling about and it all ties together it's not just the informational component right. this is a very real spiritual expansion everything is expanding we're expanding with it's it kind of like a family reunion it, it really is it's like this this family like it's so hard to explain it this group on the internet on Facebook right <laughs> this usual like hell pit of of, uh, of negativity and there's this shining beacon of like what's possible when people that share a commonality and uh, are driven by unity mm -hmm. what we can do when we come together and start discussing this stuff and there's so many brilliant minds um, with different skills and different bases of knowledge and when we come together as researchers and kind of pick each other apart and you know nobody gets away with the, any of the bullshit right, right. Get called out and it I think we've all really all grown exponentially mm -hmm. um, over these past like, months. I, I went into the wilderness because as a youth in the modern city, I felt like I, everything was, um, just felt kind of off or wrong, or that I couldn't understand why I, I, things didn't feel right. Television didn't feel right. My parents did, my teachers, the schools. I just, it didn't feel right. So what felt right to me was nature, was the trees, was the mountains, was the sky. That's something that I felt like I could trust. What was, what was, what could possibly, this, the, the intelligence that could create mountains and skies and stars and people. It, it's so beautiful. What, what is that? And I, knew, I was so confused and traumatized. I, I didn't even know what it meant to be human. So I went in the, I went in the wilderness with this very deep instinctual sense that somehow I would find the truth of what it means to be human and what it means to be alive and what we're doing here on this planet Earth now. Right. I came to realize pretty quickly afterward that it wasn't really about the information that we were getting about the secret space program. I think it was at least like for me about making like connections with a group of people that I come to realize I've had multiple lives with. And I think it's one thing when like we talk about it online and like we post about it, you know, and it's all well and good and we can like think about it all day. But when you meet a group of people, that you've known for two days and realize that you've known them. I mean, it's as if we've, we've all already known each other forever and you realize that there's something just so much bigger at work. Yeah, you know? right. right. And that's, I mean, I, for me, I think that's what the conference has actually, like that was the purpose that it needed to serve. And I guess, I think that's what it was for a lot of us, really. Yeah. And I think even, even Corey acknowledged that to some extent. He did, actually, yes. he did, yes. literally, saying that we were in the same soul group. I mean, if you were here, that's how it was, but it's so much bigger than that because right. all of the people that are, like, attracted to this information, <laughs> right. it really is for an actual reason. Right. You know? Yeah. So. You can't just sit there and hope everybody doesn't think you're crazy, you know? But there comes a point in time when you have to just kind of stand up and, like, look, this is what's going on, and I can prove it. Let me work on you, you know? And it's it's gotten a lot bigger since then. There's a lot more awareness about this. There's a lot more pe people actively protecting themselves and staying free of these systems. And that's what this is all about. This is unleashing natural humanity, you know? Every single natural human is incredibly kind, 
benevolent, generous, loving, long-lived, you know, an energetic powerhouse. That's what a natural human is, and we are not that. We right. are programmed, we are, you know, literally zombies, you know, this is what's happening right now, and despite all of this, every single aspect that is hammering down on us, we're still coming to this information and we're turning on the light. And that's what's so powerful about this, because you can feel it directly and it changes everything. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, that there's a lot to be said just connecting with people. And, you know, there, there was a time where I really felt like I had to tell people my truth, especially in the beginning. Like, after I woke up around 2010 and 2011, I feel like, you know, okay, if I didn't tell you everything that I know in 10 minutes, <laughs> I failed, you know? <laughs> and now I realize, you know, it's, it's more just about, like I was saying, holding space and allowing what needs to emerge to emerge, even if it's not this grand conspiracy theory or, you know, big giant awa uh, ascension you know, yeah. discussion. So, so, yeah, it's been really beautiful to connect with so many people on their individual paths, but at the same time we're all in this kind of harmony mm -hmm. together, coming together. So it's been very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Never been to Mount Shasta. Um, and I've, wanted, I've had a calling to come here for the last three years. Mm -hmm. um, and this one felt more like a family reunion type calling. Mm -hmm. And I, it has been. Yeah. It has been. I mean, yeah. I've talked to so many people that I know. Right. You know, but I don't know. And it's like you meet and it's like long lost friends. Just, blah, 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 you know. Unbelievable. The, you know, cellular memory and everyone just activated all at the same time. I looked at the mountain and I was like, I have the strangest feeling that I've been here before and that I know you guys like, yeah. you know, like your family and my, you know, my whole body reacted to that and, you know, everyone piggybacked off that same and just saying, yeah, I feel yeah. that the truth in that too, yeah. you know, so I feel like, you know, um, it, it's all come to this time and it's really important that, you know, we amplify these energies and, um, not only activate them energetically, but also, you know, on the physical, mm -hmm. anchor the energies into this uh, third dimensional reality and amp it up when we go home, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and make stuff happen, so. The energy building up uh, for the last couple of years, it's, it's about ready to peak. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think for all of us. Yes. Yeah, I mean, for all of those that can sense it, it's, it's, it's going to peak mm -hmm. soon. Soon, and, right. We all, we've all heard that word. Yeah, we've all heard that. Yeah, we've heard that a lot. <laughs> and we're getting acclimated to the word soon. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's say it, let's, well, I'll just say it's, it's going to be sooner. <laughs> yeah, sooner. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> And so um, I had a free gift certificate and I went in to get my first facial and I was sitting there waiting for my turn in a, in a beauty shop and there were three women there and I was kind of silently sitting there to myself thinking like, how on earth are all the, all the people you know who have spent their time here um, really being present in the 3D world, really thinking about day-to-day -day things like beauty and makeup and hairstyle, like how are those people going to react when they hear about disclosure and they find out we live in a spiritual universe and that all these changes are taking place? And uh, while I'm sitting there, I hear the one woman say that to the other woman, thank you so much for turning me on to that David Icke guy. He's just incredible. And the other woman goes yeah ascension's gonna be awesome and i'm just like oh you said the a word in public oh my god that's amazing so you just showed me a picture which which i'll post on this uh on this interview of um an orb that yeah. you sent to corey with your little paragraph and and you're pretty sure that's why he picked you because yeah. you had that picture yeah i took a picture um about a year ago, mm -hmm. I was driving home in my car and I just happened to glance out the window and in the trees there was a little blue orb bouncing around. Yeah. And I thought it was really weird. So I just grabbed my iPhone and I just snapped a picture of it really quick. And you were moving. And I was driving. Yeah. And, um, but it just kind of intrigued me because the way it was bouncing. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I got home and I posted it on my Instagram and I thought, okay, well, you know, a little blue orb or whatever. And, but it kept bugging me, like, what the heck was it? <laughs> so I Googled it. I just put in Blue Orb. Yeah. And then um, Corey's name, of course, popped up. Corey Good's name. Yeah. And then it was uh, David Wilcox's show, Cosmic Disclosure. Right, right, right. And uh, they were having a 99 cent trial thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went ahead and um, signed up to that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd just been intrigued ever since. And I couldn't stop watching the um, Cosmic Disclosure show. Yeah. 
And then I was telling all my friends, oh my God, you gotta watch this show. You know, it's like all about these blue orbs. People were looking at me like I'm crazy. And then, <laughs>